what's up y'all oh my god welcome back to my channel y'all this video is gonna be a maintenance vlog it's gonna be a self-care vlog and we are going to start it off by eating okay i want to go get me a nice little chipotle bowl so we finna eat and we finna talk all right y'all i had to move so i could put my phone down so y'all can see me. So first and foremost, let's address the elephant in the room. Where the fuck have I been is a question. Y'all, I've been I've been busy. Life been lifing, okay? For the most part, I actually still have been kind of like vlogging and doing videos, but I just haven't, I haven't edited it. I haven't edited nothing. That's the thing. Look, y'all, this is my little bowl. I got the new steak. Let's see how that shit tastes. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's cool, but it's not like hitting, hitting. But yeah, so I'm gonna have some videos coming out um before, I mean probably after this video that I did, that I recorded before this video. But it's alright. I ain't gonna lie, I've been out like you know, um, making money, working, okay, and like you know, busy with the kids. I've been busy with the kids and taking them to school, picking them up, doing all the mom duties. And then also been trying to make my money, you know, during the day. So I ain't been focused on nothing else besides making some money. Because what can you do with no money? Nothing. So I've been making money, but now I have like a couple of um, opportunities lined up. So I'm able to finally like get back to my content um, without having to worry so much about like need to make money every day every day like i've been having like a goal for myself like to make you know a certain amount a day so it's like me having to make that much a day been having me like on go all day for the whole day basically just trying to make money so now that that's out the way i'm able to like kind of focus on my content more i'm back so yeah i don't want to um i don't want to lose focus with this content shit because this is what i really want to do it's just right this second it's not making me no money you know so i can't really put my all into it or, or focus everything into content when i don't have no profit coming from it but soon soon enough i'm gonna be having some money off this shit i'm already knowing so that's why shit is working how it's working now it's working for me because it's letting me know don't even trip girl you're gonna be having your money today today's vlog is gonna be like a maintenance vlog um i don't really get my nails done i might do a manicure but it depends on I don't know how many people in the nail shop. But I'm for sure got to get my toes done. They so bad, I can't even show y'all. Um, I got to get my eyebrows done. I don't know why I touched my eyebrows. Um, Y'all know what the fuck eyebrows is. As y'all can see, I don't have no kids with me. So, we're taking this day and this time for ourselves. Also, y'all, I've been doing like a... um, What, what am I going to call it? Like a mind shift, I guess? A mindset shift? Yeah. I've been like a mindset shift. So, I've been focused on all things that are positive um for me or stuff that i could do for myself so i've been incorporating a 30 minute walk and a 30 minute walk in my in my days so so far i did it two days in a row so today i dragging my feet in we're gonna we're gonna do our walk today too mm. i don't know how people do mukbangs because baby i can't even eat and talk that might sound like a little bit to y'all like 30 minutes girl, girl, but anything any promise that i give myself and i keep to myself that's a big deal for me okay because it's like self-discipline just be out the window i don't know how but i find it much easier to do stuff for other people when something that i promise myself i'm gonna do for myself or something that i say i'm gonna do for myself it's like i can't keep that promise to myself i don't know why i just be like oh well girl you tired don't trip on it like uh, i hate doing that and I'm such a person like that. I'm a procrastinator, and I'm a oh I could do it like no I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh I, could, I I hate that. I hate that about myself. So I tell myself whatever it is that I hate about myself or that I don't like. I'm not gonna say hate, but whatever it is that I really don't like about myself, I have the power to change it. Like what the fuck? You have the power. Do it. Also notice that um I start off little is much better than me just like oh I'm gonna go to the gym and work out 30 minutes a day like. It needs to be realistic, okay? Then, well, you can't incorporate no 30-minute workout 
in your day because you got your baby. A walk, the walk, I can take my baby with me sometimes. Like, if I have to, you know, with the walk, I can take my baby with me. Like, you know, if I if I have to, I can take him with me. If I got my kids, they can come with me. So, that's more realistic for me. So, that's why I incorporated a 30-minute walk in my days. Also, I bought a new weekly planner from Amazon. Because y'all know Amazon Prime Days was hitting. A weekly planner, so, it's just so much, so much more realistic for me because... I could plan my my life basically around every week instead of the whole month. I cannot plan for a whole month. I mean, I can, but that's kind of unrealistic for me because stuff might pop up. They might come up and I'm like, oh, well, I said on October 1st, on October 28th, that I'm just going to go do this, 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 and this. And, like, it might not work out for me that day. So, I'm so excited about this new planner. About, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unbox it with y'all. Um, I mean, I'm going to open it with y'all because... It's at home. I didn't even open it yet. But when I open that thing, I'm going to start planning out my weeks. Um, And that'll make stuff just way more tangible for me. Way more realistic for me. Mm, that's what we doing. That's enough talking, y'all. We finna go to the nail shop. Let's go. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Hey, come on, we can do it. I know that we can do it. Where are we going? To the nail shop. Okay, let's go. Hold on, one more bite. Mm -hmm. One more bite. Mm -hmm. We spend cash for entertainment. That's more where that came from. That's all I'm saying. It's me and you, and we making no arrangements. It's you and me, and we making no arrangements. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so high. all right y'all i'm done with my freaking pedicure and oh my god i feel so much better my feet just feel so much better now we are about to go get my eyebrows done i didn't even call but she should be there and i don't got the phone i don't got my other phone which has the eyebrow lady number in it so i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna have to go by the grace of god also i got cash you don't take cash only and i literally have ten thousand cash so that works out perfect i am about to head over there get these eyebrows done and stop looking so hard at my fucking eyebrows just because i just told y'all you didn't even notice at first till i just told you that they fucked up yeah so next time y'all see me my eyebrows is going to be done not not if it's open but if she's there because i don't let just anybody put my eyebrows it got to be the one lady her name is kim i mean i'm lying her name is lisa gotta be the one lady gotta be lisa only lisa could touch my eyebrows not her little friend she being there like oh i could i could clean up for you no no i seen your work baby it's bad only lisa not you who oh, girl who oh, girl i'm looking the fuck good okay um these eyebrows are looking fabulous she always does her big one. Oh, uh, you trying to let me out thank you bitch you didn't have to hunt for me though um so I had came out and some lady 
she was parked next to me. There was another car parked next to her. You know how like you parked just straight in like this. I'm sure so you parked like this. So um, I had came out. Mind you, she got her eyebrows done before me, and she been done. So I guess um, she been trying. She can't. She couldn't fit basically on her side to get in on her side of the door to um, get back in her car to drive off. So when I came out, she was like, "Excuse me, excuse me." So I'm looking at her. Mind you, I got my mug on me a little bit because I'm like, "What?" And she like, um, I know this is a big favor, but do you mind please backing my truck out for me? Like, could you get in it and back it out? Cause I cannot fit on that side, like to get to the driver door. And she was in on the passenger door, but she, she was a big lady. So she couldn't climb over to get in the driver's seat from that door. So, um, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, um, okay. So I came around on the, on the driver's side, mind you, the damn other car was parked so close. I could barely even get in. So I know she couldn't get in. And I had, I had squares squeezed squeeze squeeze whatever i got in the car and then um i started her truck up and i put it in reverse and she's like thank you so much thank you so much you don't know how much i appreciate this like and she's like i knew i shouldn't have parked over here i was thinking about it when i parked over here but i'm like hopefully nobody parked close to me but they did so then i backed her out and i pulled to the corner and i let her get back in her driver's seat and then she's like thank you so much i was like it's all good girl so um you know you feel me good deeds good deeds but i only did it because I, I felt safe you know I looked in her car, ain't nobody in that motherfucker, it was just her, and, you know, I, I rolled my window down, you ain't about to lock me in this motherfucker, but yeah, it was cool, y'all, you know, some sometimes shit is really just, it's not that deep, you know, it really is just a favor, it really is, people just really need help, like, it's still good people out there, it is 2-12, and y'all, I gotta go get cash from school at 3, so I'm gonna go do that, and then we're gonna go do our walk, was that all I was doing for this maintenance video, I think so, I need to do my walk, my feet, my eyebrows, oh, my hair, but I think I'm going to put my wig back on. The whole point, well, not the whole point of me doing maintenance, I needed to do this anyway, but one of the bigger points of me doing this was because on Saturday, we are going out to brunch for my sister's birthday, so it's really my best friend, y'all. She's been my best friend since, okay, not the truck to allow. out. She's been my best friend. Well, okay, really we've been like really best friends and tight since high school, but we went to elementary, middle, and high school together. Like all the same schools. Like we used to be in the same classes sometime. Like, but we really clicked to start kicking it in high school. And yeah, girl, that's my girl. So we going out to brunch for her birthday on Saturday. So, you know, a girl like me had to get it together. I need to get an outfit too. I was debating on going to the mall. I might. So if I do, if I do, y'all gonna come with me. If I don't, then you ain't gonna see it in this walk. But um, okay. So we're gonna get cash, and then we're doing our walk, and then cash walk, and then oh hair. So I was getting to that to tell y'all, like I'm not gonna do my hair today. My hair is gonna be on Saturday. So I might wait to upload this so I can have the hair portion in it. I might. I might not. It ain't that big of a deal. Okay, so we're gonna get to this hair. And I ain't worried about 
Ass an apartment, put you inside a G class. That's just a start. It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is a thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimists, gold medalists, flush the magnums just so they not collecting my specimens. Damn. Damn. The way she with Poppy, man, you would think she's a veteran on remembrance. Cleaning lady, sweep the room daily for all the evidence of everything I ever did. Do they have a pool there? Do they have a gym there? You used to do skincare, but now you do swimwear. Your ex roommate got a condo that's downtown, but she got no furniture in her crib. I've been there. Checkmate, even though you hate that I even check, I still get an E for effort. Only time I play the back and forth is a Leah record. If I let you talk first and nobody is speaking. <laughs> 